are. Just parked our car, our rental car. And we're walking around. Oh, cool, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, we've seen a lot of like these flowers growing on buildings. And this is kind of like a little plaza area. You can smell the ocean from here. I'm not sure what this is. Then we got a museum over here. Okay, we're inside this free museum. I don't even know like what this is, what it's about, but it looks like it was an old church. Like it used to be a church. Really beautiful. a tuk tuk tour. <laughs> Looks like that. Guys, this is a little bit bumpy. Okay. It feel like a massage. p.m. kind of rush hour traffic-y very crowded here okay, here's the bridge coming up right here it's supposed to be earthquake proof because there's a huge earthquake here in the 1700s that caused a tsunami to hit Lisbon and like totally destroy the city so they had to rebuild it so now you know things are more earthquake proof I guess yeah, earthquake of 1755 generated a tsunami that took out most most parts of Lower Lisbon on the coast because they weren't they weren't built for tsunamis. Mm. I don't think Lisbon really experienced any large earthquakes, mm. so they weren't they weren't prepared for earthquakes during that time period. So like, it caused massive fires, the flooding, so the, the city was completely destroyed. Wow. That that bridge is supposed to be the mini Golden Gate Bridge. It was named oh. after like the di dictator of this of the country until uh, recently i forget there was an april revolution and i think they named, renamed the, bit, the bridge after that i'm not going over here snacking these are good orchard valley harvest made with sea salt I found this at the commissary it came in a bag of like eight of these little bags all right here we are walking over this bridge to get to Belem cast or tower here we are along the coast <laughs> oh, one thirteen. 
15. Here we are, we're in the, what is this place called? It's just called like amazing. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Chocolate on the bed, that's what I like. Look at this room. This like sure. some apples and water. <laughs> is there a balcony? Oh yeah, there is. It's for the golf course. <gasps> nice. We have a golf. Smell the beach. Yeah, you can smell the beach. It's just like probably just right over there. This is awesome. So we're on like the ground floor. This is amazing. <laughs> Paid for with points, man. Yep. Look at look. They even have like a little foot nap by the bed. Excellent. <laughs> Mark's gonna celebrate with some water. <laughs> It's Saturday morning and we're walking to the beach. There's the Del Rey Resort. Del Rey means the king. And now just walk over here to the beach. Private beach for Marriott guests. I like how they have danger, unstable cliffs. Oh wow. <coughs> I know how to spot reference. Alright, we are about to go down to the beach. Just we're not in beach wear. We're just I just got done with breakfast. <coughs> Late breakfast. And uh yeah, these cliffs are just really cool. So you go down these stairs to get to the beach. Not even 30 degrees, it's like say 65 degrees maybe. Yeah, but they're making here real quick. Oh yeah, some big waves coming in now. This water is cold. The deluge wave. closer to the ocean. That water is so cold. I can't believe Mark is in there. <laughs> He's got the GoPro on. <laughs> How is it? Cold? <laughs> Here we are walking along the beach. hotel room after sitting at the beach and then at the pool um, my face looks nice and rosy um, Mark is in the spa right now but being pregnant you know I can't sit in the sauna or anything so I'm back in the room it's getting a little hot out there and I thought I would since the light is really nice and they just made up our room I would give you guys a room tour while I have a free moment so we're in room 113 so we're on the first floor 
And this is what it looks like when you walk in. You have some closet space here. And then to your left is the bathroom, really nice and spacious. You know, a lot of European, I was gonna say hospitals, um, hotels are known for um, small bathrooms, but not these nice Marriott resorts. So they give you some good quality um, bath products. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot of room. This whole room is spacious. And then you got your safe in here with some drawers. So if you're gonna be here long term. And then you have the coffee and tea bar. They also have a mini bar. They have some stuff in there that you can buy. Um, really nice, they give you like wine glasses and stuff. And then this is the room. I love the mood lighting behind the fixtures so a lot of space to put your luggage up off of the floor and then it's a nice king size bed so it was very comfy these Marriott beds are almost always really nice a nice little day bed there for lounging and then a table and then we have a porch and this is I've ac I actually didn't go out here during the day we went out here last night when it was dark but let's go out here so this is um this is the golf course view i mean you can't really see much but um so that's nice and yeah that's pretty much the room here's the view from the opposite end some different art and lamp fixtures so super super spacious i love it a lot of a lot of room to move around get your stuff um yeah we love it here all right so it's about 5 30 p.m on august 31st and we are driving out of the neighborhood where the marriott resort is and it's like a legit um like resort neighborhood there's homes here um there. It kind of reminds me of like a Florida neighborhood. So here's like entrance to the place. To the, it's like a resort, like golf country club type of thing. But yeah, we're heading to Nazaire, which is uh, where the biggest ways in the world are. In the world, right? Like anywhere in the world. Um, so we'll see how big they are. People say that October is the biggest wave time, but so it's just beginning of September barely, you know. Um, but the waves are pretty big today here at the beach, so we'll see. Well, we're right by the coast, but as you can see, they have these pines that kind of remind us of the loblolly pines that are in North Carolina. I mean, there's not really a ton of palm trees. Like the terrain, it, it, it really does remind me of North Carolina. It kind of is on, uh, from the map, it kind of looked like the same, around the same latitude as like North Carolina and Virginia. So maybe like the jet streams bring <laughs> seeds from. Or the water currents. It's actually quite cool today. It's like 68 outside, it's the highest 70. And I have a sweater and jeans on, so. All right, yeah. we're walking down to the lighthouse. You can see, like, this is on like very large ridge, so you can see the water out there.
Fatima. This is like the big parking lot that you you see the sign for Fatima, like a little like city sign, and then immediately there's this big parking lot. So everyone appears to just park here. So yeah, here's this big. Yeah, it looks like a big basilica or something. For all right, so this is this is the basilica of the Holy Trinity right here. Just went inside, and then I'm guessing this is this is like the field. Here, that's all paved now. Here's our last visit to the beach. It's Monday, September 2nd, Labor Day in the US. And one last visit, we just checked out on the Marriott and now we're just gonna go down for a quick, quick little glance at the beach one more time. Here we go. Okay, we're leaving the resort. So sad. We had such a great time. It was a great, perfect location. Highly recommend the Marriott Resort at the Del Rey, Praia Del Rey. It was just exquisite. The food was amazing. This is a beautiful neighborhood with all these resort homes and it's just, you know, kind of secluded, private beach. Yeah, we just really enjoyed our time and had some good relaxation and saw Fatima and mm -hmm. saw Lisbon. So really a good portion of Lisbon first day here. So highly recommend Portugal. It's really great. People are so nice too. They're very helpful. The resort was very nice. There's a lot of, um, not like a lot, but there was a good amount of kids and even babies, like people with strollers and prams. Um, and the guy, the luggage guy was telling me that in the summertime they do have a lot of families and then in like September, October, November when the weather gets colder, cooler, um, they have more golfers that come because it's right, it's right on the beach and a golf course. So, um, and then I was asking if it gets very cold and he said, to us it's cold, <laughs> but they never get snow. No. So he said maybe in the morning, like in December, like Christmas time it'll be like one to two degrees celsius but you know other people will not find it very cold 